Jay, by the way, did you ever go to Metro Wholesale when you when you played this? Oh wait, Metro Wholesale is not where I want to go. This place this that's where the the proletariat shops. You gotta go to NY Distro, man. Okay, everyone relax. I just gotta pull a Yui real quick. Bro, I need to turn around. Zero percent, huh? Well, I guess I'll be selling this car for zero dollars. Good thing I just got a $10,000 loan. I guess I'll go to the go buy a new car tomorrow. Okay, hang on. Forget about the Costco for now. Don't worry about it. I'm going to need a hand truck and I'm going to need to be taking this with me. We're looking for burgers. I, I'll be honest, I bet we need paper bags too. Toss one of those on there. Give me some give me some burgers. 100x burgers. I'm going to go crazy. I think we're going to sell 200 burgers. I'm going to grab two of those. Are they sleeping here? Okay. I'm out. I need to buy a car, man. You ever notice how long my days get now, though? Is this even where I live? There's <laughs> one more block. Now that I'm actually doing shit, my days are lasting forever. It's only 6 p.m. don't even have a cash register. We're we're the first business. It's Venmo only. I don't know if I mentioned this, by the way, but when we were at Disneyland, I saw something garish that, that made me question my faith in humanity. It was a young lady. I would say she was probably in her early 20s. And she was wearing a t-shirt. On the back of the t-shirt was a QR code. Uh, and above the QR code, it said, this is my Venmo address. Lady, no disrespect, okay? You're at, you're at Disneyland. You're in line in front of me. We're about to pay 14 bucks for a uh, Ballast Point Grapefruit Sculpin. If you're just, I'm not going to give you the money. You're just going to spend it on beer. That's money that I was about to spend on beer. Plus... We don't have um, Venmo in Canada. If you had your Wealth Simple cash code, I might consider shooting you a, a little runoff. You know, I always end up with a couple of extra cents in there. I didn't know you could do that, though. I didn't know you could just be, like, in a really expensive place and then put, like, give me money on your shirt. You see that here and there in California, people put their Venmo address on their cars? Just in their cars? Like, for driving? I don't understand. Listen, maybe we don't want to get into it. Hang on. I got to stuff these industrial burgers into my industrial grill. I, I can't even do anything with my damn... I don't even have a freezer. What's going to happen to these burgers, man? I mean, they must be shelf-stable. When I bought them, they weren't frozen either. You just parked that. Here go two more for y'all. Would you send someone a dollar for driving? I mean, maybe if their driving was, like, insanely bad, I would send them a dollar just so I could type a message that was like, Fuck you. I wouldn't send them a dollar. I would send them literally, like, one cent. I would send them, like, the minimum to actually have the transaction go through. Or you could re can, you, can you request them? Could I scan the QR code and then be like, give me $20? Or I'm going to talk shit about your t-shirt on my Twitch stream? That is not... Dude, that's not fair. 
You shouldn't open yourself up. That's like another attack vector. I only made 95 bucks today. This is the cost of getting business started. I made 95 bucks. I lost my fucking car. Hang on. I need Bizman Insight. Two alerts. Needs a cash register. Needs opening hours. Well, I could have told you that. Dude, you're not wrong. Voice chat would go crazy. Pro proxy chat would go crazy on the road. Can you imagine? Did you see the clip of the guy in Florida? Who, um... It's a road rage, like, dash cam incident, just for the record. Uh... He's on the freeway, and then someone, like, merges in front of him, and he says, like, fuck you, or something like that. Then the guy in front of him throws a water bottle that hits his windshield, and he just gets a thousand yards stare. Um, and then he's, you just see him fiddle with, like, his, uh, where his cup holder is, like, the center console, for, like, 40 seconds, and he's, like, spinning a lock. Then he pulls out a fucking Glock, and the dude pulls up next to him, he just goes, bang! He takes one shot through his window, shatters all the glass, and then just gets like super scared and is just like leaned back in his chair, just going pop, 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 pop through his front windshield. Buddy, I'm just trying to get to Costco. Like, the, the trigger discipline was negative 1,000, like negative int 32. Dot max value. I'm not even worried if he shoots the dude that threw the water bottle at him. Like, I wouldn't do it. I would probably just, like, live and let live or whatever. But, like, don't shoot me. My ass is just driving. I'm just... <laughs> this is just the only way for me to get to the grocery store that has cheap food, man. I don't think I deserve to die for that. You're right, maybe I should stop giving people the middle finger, huh? Hang on, I need a cash register. Which means I need a cabinet. Oh, fuck. Which means I need a hand truck. Thank you. And what else did I need? Oh, opening hours? Well, you know what? I'll tell you. There's definitely, like, there's a problem in this, uh, in this city right now. We know for a fact that there is a dearth of 24-hour food options. What if we, we don't have to start as a 24-hour food outlet, but what if we open when the burger restaurant next door closes and we close when they open? You ever think about that shit right there? Wouldn't teach you that in fundamental business administration. Now, I've been to some fast food places in my, in my life. I think typically tend to have the cash register roughly adjacent. Oh, fuck. <laughs> put, put, pack it up, brother. Just, just put it right down there for a second. You know what? Here go two more for y'all. Toss another hand truck back. You know, you can never have too many of those. So I think that you need to be rotated. This is beautiful. I guess we probably need some. You got two businesses now, huh? <laughs> some paper bags. I think that's what the media calls a serial entrepreneur. Very nice work. I'll let you get back to it, and I'll catch up with you later. You had it right the first time. Okay, never mind. I'd like to pick up my cash register and place it. I'd like to pick up my cabinet, rotate it. I'd like to press escape on that. I'd like to pick up my... Oh, it already has paper bags inside of it. Look at that. I'd like to pick up my cash register and place it. That's right. Okay. And then... I mean, for like, what, what is it? It's 1134. I think the, uh, there's only one thing to do here. It's Bizman. You open up the damn store. 
let me get schedule here. We're gonna open at eight. Why can't I open? I'd like to open my business. Business is closed this day. We're gonna open at eight. And we're gonna close at eight. That seems like too much. This shit is psychotic. It's not psychotic. And then... It's called Rise and Grind, okay? We're gonna very quick... Well, we got a chance. <laughs> We're gonna go, gonna go to the recruitment agency. Are you the recruitment agency? What are you? You must be the recruitment agency. We need to hire a security guard immediately. If those are the hours we're married to, we need security, toot sweet. Oh, you can just call them. Contacts. Hello, I would like to call you. I would like to um, get customer service staff. You know what? This today, I'm going to be honest, you got a week. You got a week to give me um, to give me a candidate. And I'll accept just one. That's fine. And then um, I guess I'm going to need a I'll need cleaning staff at some point. I guess I need cleaning staff because at some point I have to sleep. You know what? Let me get a... Let me call you real quick. Sorry, new campaign. Let me get a Superior Burgers cleaning staff. I'm going to be honest. I need this today. That has to happen today. And uh, then... I'm going to purchase a cleaning station. I got six hours... I got eight hours till my shift starts. Can't you use Isabella to clean both places? It's not my area of expertise. I'm a job creator. I'm not a job destroyer. Just relax, okay? Listen, we're all going to get where we need to go. All we need to do is be nice to one another. You know, honestly, that was the best customer service... I've ever had. I think I should just try to poach that guy. I think I'm full on hand trucks for now, personally. Okay, we'll just pop this back in the hand truck. Oh, what? They still have been robbed! I'd like to report a, a crime. And then I'll just level with you. I think we should take like a little cat nap. Because we start work at, <laughs> at 8. And then we're going to have to clean the place up. Like we're, we're going to be on like a nocturnal schedule here. Let me get some fresh food. Probably a little overkill. But wake me up at, uh, you know what, maybe like 7.30. Macklemore spend less, rounded shelf soon runs out of cheap gift. You don't, you guys don't think you could handle that? I'm not trying to go to that business. I'm trying to go to my business that I own. How do we do? Ooh! Hang on though, my day's not over. You've received a new message from Andreessen Recruitment. Okay. I would love to hire you, Alicia. Um, but you're not going to have full-time hours. I'm, I'm sorry to tell you that. 
We're going to take you on... Uh, we're going to go to Bizman. Superior Burgers. You're going to... Uh, you're going to do some cleaning. From 9 a.m. till uh, till 11. 14 hours a week. That's all I got. We're, it's not going to get that dirty in here. Holy cow, we're freaking almost out of burgers after one day? They weren't kidding. People love burgers, man. You open overnight? I'll do you one better. We're only open overnight, brother. Okay, it was just 8 a.m. I don't work for 12 hours. First step. Take a little snooze. Let me get let me get a normal, like, you know, maybe like a seven hour snooze. Wake me up at 350. Buy a car. Easy there, uh. Nelson Rockefeller. I've only I've only got two businesses. You think I'm ready to own a car? I don't want to talk about the fact that the burgers are shelf stable. Yeah, plus it's like I'm working out and I'm helping out my businesses at the same time. Central perk. Don't worry, I won't tell anybody. I'm not going to let him sue you. Wine and Cigars by James. Now, I think... Uh, I better buy some cheap gifts, man. Unfortunately, I've forgotten where the wholesaler is. I think it's one block up. I think it's this store right here. It's this store here. Okay. Across the street. Is it online multiplayer? <laughs> I wish. I wouldn't even open a business if this was online multiplayer. I would log on at breakfast and go to a coffee shop and then just order some breakfast and sit there. And then I would log off. Then I would log on at lunch and I would go to a burger place and just order a burger and eat it. Global in 13 hours, what's wrong with you? Closed on Sundays? Okay, guess what? Local businesses be like, oh, big businesses are taking all our business. Also, local businesses be like, oh, sorry, we're closed. Guess what? Catch my ass. I never wanted to succumb to New York Distro Incorporated, but now my ass is going to New York Distro Incorporated because it's the only place open on Sundays. Then they got me looped into their damn uh, loyalty program. So, like, why would I shop anywhere but... NY Distro. Give me a cheap gift, please. All right, they got my ass shopping at Jojo Mart. Did your car break down? Yeah, it's a piece of crap. Damn Hansas. You need burgers too? All right, hang on. You guys got any hand trucks for me? Do you know that the Costco membership card is actually a scam? Yeah, it's like a real scam to pay like $60 a year to save like $1,000 a year on your groceries. Oldest scam in the business. I, we might even need, I mean, we could go kind of crazy on the burgers, honestly. Can only hold 300 burgers. Save is maybe not the right word. It is the right word. You can be anti, like, a lot of businesses, don't get me wrong. The anti-Costco slander I will not stand for. Something is like, I, I looked at the, the Costco infographic. They generate, like, 2% of their annual income yearly from memberships. If it was a scam, that would be much higher. 
You buy like 15 liters of ketchup, how's that saving? You don't buy ketchup. If you're, if you're not going to eat 15 liters of ketchup, then don't buy ketchup. It's not like you, you have to buy ketchup at Costco. If your ass needs two olives, then you go to like the olive bar at another grocery store and you pay seven cents for two olives. I don't know, these people are taking such crazy shots at Costco, man. I don't understand. They're selling you hot dogs for a dollar, a dollar fifty. Take a shot at any other business. Like, I don't know if it's the same in the US. Oh no, I'm late for work. I know in the US, there's a few grocery stores people actually like. People like Costco, people like Wegmans, HEB, right? In Canada, it's not like that. You can pay $60 a year for shit to be like 20% cheaper at Costco than any other grocery store. Or you could go to Loblaws and, and pay, you know, $1,000 for 100 grams of sliced chicken. Oh, let's hang on, I'm time traveling. I'm traveling till the end of my shift. We lost $500 on this store today. So did you get a call from the bank? They must be shot to see what's happening with oh, your Oh, never mind. We did great. <laughs> the way it's growing. You should find yourself a nicer apartment and buy yourself some... What have you only been working for a week? It's day sir. 22. Okay, place... Do me a favor, place some burgers. I guess we could use a storage shelf, huh? Do me a favor, place some burgers. Let's toss them right on the floor, yeah. We, we probably... Let's just bet on never having the health department visit us. How does that sound? Now it's... I was going to say it's midnight, so I can't drop this stuff off, but then I remembered... Guess what, motherfucker? I own the damn store. That being said, I can't leave. <laughs> I am trapped in here. What do you mean it's all- oh, oh my god, I'm supposed to man the cash register, I forgot it's a split shift! I don't think I'm playing the game the way it's meant to be. Play, look at me, look at my god. Oh no, hang on. The burgers must flow, brother. Let me take this 16 piece up here. Can you dump them? Let me grab another hundred, please. An entrepreneur's life never ends. At Janet Yellen, look at how hard my son Gabriel is working. Would it be possible for him to get one wafer thin bailout of a free car? He wrecked his car illegally parking in front of fire hydrants on the streets of Manhattan. Just trying to provide hard working New Yorkers with cheap gifts. Have a heart. Oh, if it was called uh, Farmer's Macklemore but spend less, you probably wouldn't be saying that, would you? You'd probably be saying, you'd probably be bending over backwards. Oh, please let me bail you out, please. There's a metaphor in here, man. Look at, look at how unhappy my guy is. He finally got what he, what he always wanted. Now he's walking like Michael Sarah. He died. He passed out on the street. You're being taken to the hospital. <laughs> so, no, Superior Burgers is open, but no employees aside, please. I've got two heavy loans from the bank at 6% interest. Let me out of here. I can't pay this bill. Now, I'm fucking a kilometer away from home. I don't even have a car. Can I get in a taxi? You can get in a taxi. Okay, take my ass. I mean, I'm late for work. <laughs> can you take me to work? $83, are you fucking crazy? This shit is so depressed. It's not even open. How you guys doing? Good? Still got 36 sodas in there. 
I guess I, I gotta get a car. You're right. Happiness is zero. Car dealership. Pretty close. I can't believe it. $83. Oh, right, the recruiter. Lily Miles. She doesn't seem great at her job. You're hired. Let me go to Bizman real quick. Honestly, my whole life fell apart as soon as I tried to go on this schedule. So I'm just going to go ahead and say, I'm sorry for this, Lily Miles, but you said you wanted to work full time. Let's, let's see how full time you're willing to work, okay? So enjoy your 84, 84 hours a week. <laughs> oh. Oh. Rip bozo. Whew. You could take like a shift or two. Ah, then I gotta buy a calendar. You know, I don't like. I prefer to live like a little bit more minimalist than that. All right, how about this van? Six thousand dollars. How about the mimic? Twenty five hundred. I gotta be honest. I think I gotta go straight. Twenty two thousand. I gotta go straight back with another with another mimic. You gotta ask yourself what kind of person out there would drive willingly a gray car. I want mine to be easy to spot. Ooh! <laughs> what kind of financing terms will you be will you be using for this Hansa Mimic today? Financing terms? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll be paying in cash. Now, don't drive like a psycho, okay? Sell it? You wanna sell it for twelve fifty? Are you crazy? It lost fifty percent the second I drove it off the lot. Sorry, you can turn right on red here. The IKEA must have a parking lot, right? Ikea with street parking only? No, no, no. This is our parking lot right here. Oh, baby. A hundred percent condition. Why is this illegal? You don't know. I, did, I didn't even think about it, but yes, I do. I do back in. I am a noted spot. Uh, I'm, I'm a I'm a reverse Parker, so is everybody else in this game apparently. I love reverse parking, man. Holy cow! You, can you guys get some quieter floors? They've even got the IKEA flatbed, man. Okay, can I get a chair? Nope. Those ch that's the cafeteria. <laughs> They've even got the arrows on the ground. Oh, I can't look at all that. Are you crazy? Sure, office chair. I mean, a grand for a single item at Ikea. Like, we're, we're getting up there, man. A desk. And a computer. I need to find the home office, please. Anybody see any desks around? Oh, baby. I mean, this is standard table, but they got it set up as like a cool ass like L-shaped desk. I got nothing but respect for the L-shaped desk. I'll take a basic gaming PC for 1500 bucks. Toss that on top. And we're almost out of the store here. I mean, I guess I'm, I'll just buy a... It, it, I'm going to be pissed off if this doesn't count. Where's, where are you going? Bro, where's he going? He's gonna grab it through the wall? <laughs> Hang on, I'm checking out. 2,800 bucks at Ikea. Sanest uh, consumer. 
How the fuck do I get out of the fucking store, dude? Follow the people with boxes. He's done it. I gotta be honest though, FPS kind of tanks in Ikea. Not just in game, IRL as well. Probably just pop this down right here. Squeeb! I press space to try to um, <laughs> do a drift. <laughs> Dude, this is a pretty good game. I totally see it. I am still waiting for the king of retail like. That forces you to do mini games for like every customer you have. Like instead of just allow it, allowing you to time travel to the end of your shift. Like every time a customer comes in, you have to like do like a, a two digit uh, addition like a mathematical operation and then give them the right change or something. But maybe that's maybe that's too much drudgery for the average person. Okay, start with the table, of course. Place the desk in your apartment and attach chair and computer to it. I can do that. I mean, it's not a desk, it's a table, but I hope you'll forgive me for that. And then I'll take a, I'll take my basic PC next. Pop that right in the middle there. Whoops. Give me my office chair, please. Play video games for at least one hour. Hang on, let me eat some fresh food first. This is a little pro tip for you gamers. I can do that. My shift doesn't... Actually, my shift never starts. I could play video games forever. Missing require... <laughs> it's, not, it's not even hooked up. Missing requirements chair. What are you talking about? Mm, probably for four hours, I would say. I'm done with my video games. Tell it 10 p.m. Hey kid, I talked with a good little, friend little yesterday. Little little late. You know what? Gary. I'll take a quick he uh you know you got to get your 10 hours in. in the industrial area. They sell stuff in big chunks, but a lot cheaper. Shut up, uncle. I'm gaming. I'm trying to hit diamond and Valorant. My fucking scammer employees keep asking me to make payroll and shit. Just give me a second. Probably you start gaming for like 4 hours here. Mm, I need to go ahead and I'm gonna just game for like four hours here. I've received a new message from Alicia Hall. I haven't been happy with my job. To be honest, I'll be forced to find a job at a different company. I hope you understand and will apply the necessary changes. Bro, what a bitch. Okay, fine. Fine. I'll tell you what then. Just because like, I don't know, you're like being such a you know what about it. I'll tell you what, okay? You think your job is so hard? Well, guess what, Lily? Your hours just got cut. Now, my ass is going to go to work at 8, okay? I hope you're happy. That's when I, I do some of my best gaming. That's when I'm at peak mental alertness. That was the wrong person. Oh. Wrong number? Who this? Sorry about this. So I'm just going to... Um, Oh, so she probably wants more hours. Fuck you, you think I can't clean the business? I've always wanted to do this. Hey, Alicia. You're fired. Uh, 
That felt fucking sick, dude. You gonna get sued? I'd like to see her try. She's owned. Now, now look, I know the place is closed. Listen, would it be so hard for the other person like that actually works here 82 hours a week to, to restock the burger holder so our business can keep losing $50 a day? Look at this. Oh, oh, it's so hard. Cleanliness 100. Okay, I'm already done. Wow. You don't see me complaining. Anyway, where was I? Back to Vallow. I'll probably just take a little snooze real quick. I'm a little tired. I just got out of the hospital. I don't know if you know this. Uh, is it like 9 p.m.? Okay, quick little, take a quick little snooze. Get 10 hours, get an early start. Wake up at 7.20. <laughs> Total profit minus $28. I lost money just by being alive? You know what we need to do? We need to improve the interior of Macklemore and spend less. Can I just do that? Marketing. You don't have any active marketing. I know Burgers is losing me money, but how? Persona. Why is my happiness so low? Oh, because I went to the hospital? Oh, but that dude, my debuff goes off and then all that gaming's gonna hit. Holy cow. I would like to, I guess I'd have to buy some plants or something. Maybe your business isn't doing well because it's because of its insane opening hours. You just don't understand. It reminds me of the f famous um, businessman, the Butabi brothers. They thought about having a nightclub where the outside of the nightclub looked like the, the looked like the inside, and then the inside of the nightclub looked like the street. And everybody told them that they were stupid until one day. I can't really recall how it happened. I think it's they stopped uh, someone from stealing his business idea and then the, the club owner is like, let's try it. And then it ended up working out amazing. Hang on, we're gonna, we're gonna stop being insane. Hey Lily, by the way, you're not gonna be too happy with this, but now the store is open from noon until 8 p.m. That's great news because your hours weekly are going to come down, but it's really bad news for right now because, um, like, you're immediately, you've got, like, four hours, then you're coming right back to work. Yeah, this is okay. And then uh, the other thing I wanted to see was interior design. It's a fast food place. It should have these tiles. Okay, great stuff. The walls should have weird little pictures of, oh, this is perfect. Yellow seems good, sure. Now we're eating. <laughs> what else? That's it. Okay, I'll apply that. <laughs> $3,000. Well, you got to spend money to make money. Okay, interior designer. Now, this is a gift store. Okay, a gift store. It's a little higher class. Let me get navy blue tiles, please. I can't eat. Oh, oh these are walls. Okay, my mistake. Let me get... Um, Uh, I'm going to be honest. It's, you know what? Let's go with the white hardwood. And then for walls, let's get a little calming blue. Now that's looking kind of slick. Damn. 
damn, that's classy. Doesn't that make you want to buy cheap gifts? I'm immediately calmed. Doesn't that make you want to buy a shopping cart full of $9 snow globes for a city you've never been to? When do I start work? I start work in the morning because I got to clean the place. Dude, my guy's like kind of happy. You know what that means? <laughs> Let's do a little bit more gaming, man. He's got nothing to do. He might as well game. Sit around and watch the phone, but no one's calling. Call me pathetic, call me what you will. I'm not visiting the drive-in store. I'm a multiple business owner. My uncle no longer controls me, okay? How you doing? How's, let's check in. Let's check in on the business real quick. How you doing? You been selling a lot of burgers? Not really. Could you work on your salesmanship a little bit? I like it when stores play music. Uh. Lady, buy some AirPods, you psycho. Uh. <laughs> the interior design is popping. I can't find a place to sit down. How about a uniform, maybe? You gotta be crazy. If you go into a store and an employee is not wearing a uniform, you're like, oh, I don't support this place. I will say, this is not a, a joke, by the way. Kate will tell you the same thing. Well, you, you may have seen that I got recognized on Saturday, just randomly in Vancouver, um, while I was walking the baby around for a nap. I was wearing literally the same clothes in Costco earlier that day, and uh, a guy came up to me and said, excuse me, where's the cooking oil? And I said, oh, I don't work here. And then he just walked away. He didn't even say sorry or anything. He just walked away. Like, I was not wearing, like, a name tag or a Costco shirt. I was wearing a, a black New Balance windbreaker and a, a toque with, the, with, like, Roots Canada branding on it. I don't, I don't know where the cooking oil is. We don't cook enough to need to buy, like, industrial drums of olive oil. Maybe you just, my body language, you saw me, you knew I was so confident. Let's do slash marker. This is called Big Ambitions. 